Hello everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage. Today is Paper Crafting Saturday and I'm Leslie Watkins. I have a really special project for you today, particularly if you're a grandmother and you have some little ones in your life or maybe you're just young at heart. But anyway, this is a, a really cute set and it's also, it's cute and elegant at the same time. So let me show you what we have. In the holiday catalog, the mini catalog, on page 45, we have something called the Gilded Autumn Suite. And I'm going to be using just about everything from this suite today. So I'll be using some of the designer series paper, the brushed metallic cardstock. I'll be using the punches and the trinkets, these, these pretty acorn trinkets, and this wonderful kind of metallic copper ribbon. You get, you get two ribbons in this set, and I'm just going to be using the one. I'm also going to be using, and this is page 45, I'm also going to be using the little treats, um, little treat box die which is here and this is on page 70 and um, this this is this project's a little more advanced it's it's very easy but you do need a couple of tools so one of the one of the tools that you need is the stamping cut and emboss machine and I'm just going to open that up I have my cutting plates here so I've got one, two, and both number threes. I'm just going to line those up. And I'm going to start by taking the, the little treat box. And I'm also going to use this smaller tag. All right, now I'm using the, the brushed metallic cardstock. I'm going to place that in between my plates. Here's my little box. Let me get those bits off of there. And what you get is something that looks like this. Just punch that out, okay. So there's that. We're gonna use the machine again in just a little bit, but let me get it out of the way for now. I'm just gonna put this away so I don't lose any of the pieces. I'm also using a stamp set from the annual catalog, and this is called Someone Special, and I'm going to be using these little squirrel images. So I've, got, I've already got them mounted up, ready to go, and I'm also using the little squirrel die. So I have some things all ready to go here. Here's a scrap of very vanilla. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see better. And I have two stamp pads. I've got the Early Espresso and Crumb Cake. So I'm going to start with the Crumb Cake. And using my piercing mat, 
I'm just going to take the this one, which is the filler stamp. I'm tapping that in the crumb cake. And there's my little squirrel. Now I'm going to take the outline with the early espresso. And I'm just going to line that up. Excuse my head if my head gets in there. Oh, not so good. Okay, it's hard for me to see with the camera overhead, so let's try that again. We'll do a couple just in case. That one's pretty good. Okay, we've got our squirrel. Now I'm going to bring the machine back. And clear the clear the decks. I'm going to use a post-it note just to make sure that that die doesn't move. So I'm going to get it lined up. I'm going to do this so I can see it. Okay. And um, all right, let's run that through. I've got one more one more die cut. And there's our little squirrel. We're not done with him yet. And I'm going to take one of the sentiments in here. I'm going to go with thank you. the early espresso ink again. And now using this little tag die from the, the little um, treat box set, I'm just going to line that up. That's it for our stamping and die cutting. So there's my little thank you tag.
Okay, now back to that little squirrel. I'm taking my crumb cake ink pad and a sponge, and this is one of the round Stampin' sponges that I've cut into quarters. I'm just going to get some ink on there, and I'm just going to sponge the edges so they don't look so raw. And there he is, very cute. I'm just going to spritz my fingers because I've got some ink and I don't want to get that on the rest of the project. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have some things that I've cut out ahead of time. So I have a couple of pieces of the of the DSP. I've got the the paler color. This is very vanilla with the various copper, gold and bronze accents on it. And then I have this one which is the colored side and both of these are the ones that feature the acorns on them. What I want to do is I'm going I'm going to gently score my box. And this is this is a wonderful little treat box. It's really cute, very easy to make, and it goes together very easily. So what you do is you take these little tabs, well, let me score here. There we go. So these little tabs just go into these slots like so. Front and back. And then the flaps come up and make this really cute little treat box. But before I glue anything down, I want to add some things to it. So I have the these little panels which are going to go on the front and the back of the box and these measure one and a half inches by two and I'm going to use my liquid glue for this. Now when you are gluing onto any of our foiled papers or cardstock. It always takes a couple of minutes longer for it to dry than it would on a on a matte paper because it's not as absorbent. So just be careful that your your layer doesn't shift on you. Okay, so that's the outside of our box. And then what I'm going to do is, let me decide, let me give this a little burnish first. So, I think this will be the back. So I'm just going to add some glue 
to the back of that. I'm going to hold that in place for just a minute. Give that a little press. Okay, now while that's drying, I have another piece of the DSP. Now this is the one with the colored images on it. And this one measures one and three quarters of an inch by four. And then I've got it scored at also at one, three, one and three quarters of an inch. So four inches lengthwise and then scored at one and three quarters of an inch. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to fold it and then take my snips. I'm going to snip two little bits about half an inch from each end and about about half an inch deep. I'm going to open up my piece and I'm going to push that through to the other side and then fold that down so I have something that looks like this on the outside. I'm going to give that a little burnish, my bone folder. And so I've got this kind of a configuration. Okay, now going back to my little box. Make sure that's stuffed down well. I'm going to take this and put that, slide that right in there. And then I'm going to take my glue I'm going to run that around there and also along here. And then this little piece that I just made is going to nestle right in there, just like so. I'm just, I just need to move so it's. I made a mistake here. I want to make sure that there's no glue right there, okay? So we don't want that to stick together. So what I did was, let me explain that to you. You, you want to make sure that there's no glue right in the center area here. I think, I think the easier way to show you would have been on this piece. Okay, so I'll just do it again here. This is do it this way. So I'm just putting the glue on these areas. Okay, but obviously not in this cut out or folded up section. Okay, so that's important. So you want the glue around there, not in there. And hopefully this won't stick in that area. So then this nestles in there just like that. Get that nice and straight. And I'm just making sure that this lines up nicely along the top here. Okay. 
And now I'm going, I have all these little pieces that I've punched out ahead of time. So this sweet also comes with this punch set of three. This is called the Autumn Punch Pack. And what you get in here is a, a maple leaf. See if I can get the light. There you go. Maple leaf. An oak leaf. And an acorn. And all I've done is I've punched out these shapes in some of the brushed metallic paper and also from the, um, there's a designer series paper in the pack, you see, that has these designs on it that fit the, per the punches perfectly. So you can punch out all of these little leaves and acorns right off the designer series paper. And what I want to do now is I want to decorate this little area with some of these leaves falling down. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue. And add some leaves in the background. I think you can see it better if I hold it this way. All right, here's a maple leaf. So I'm just adding a couple of sparkly ones. These are the burnished cardstock in the in the darker tone, which I think is the copper. And I'll add... Now, I'm, I think that's enough in the, for the back because we're going to add our squirrel. So here's our little squirrel, and he's just going to get a little bit of glue like that. And he's going to go on that little pop-out that we cut. So there he is. Now I want to add some leaves on the forest floor here in front of him. So I'm just going to randomly place leaves like so and I've got a couple of acorns There we go. And when I when I start to have about as many as I like here, I'll add one more of these. I'm going to add a a, um, a couple of these metallic cardstock ones on the top. So there's a Here's an oak leaf. I'll add another one here. And 
And then finally on the top of the pile, I'm going to add my, <clears throat> my beautiful shiny acorn. Okay. So these are extra. I'm just going to put these back for another card. So I, I keep my all of these little extras in these clear envelopes so I can see them to find them later when I want to use something like that. Now I'm also using one of our Gilded Gems. So this is the, the middle sized one. Which is over here. And I'm going to place that in our squirrel's hands, or paws. Okay, so there he is, holding his gem. With all the leaves on the forest floor in front of him. Now, here's a, here's a tip. When you're using this this little treat box, if you have, and let me find mine somewhere here. Here it is. If you have a, a B clear block, this fits perfectly in there. And you can, you can really give that a good press and make sure that stays together. Okay. And there's our little squirrel. And when we fold up our flap, he folds up inside there like so. Okay, so you can see how that mechanism moves. It's adorable. All right, now the, what's nice about these little treat boxes is they happen to fit two Giardali chocolates, or deli, Giardali chocolates perfectly. So I can slide those in there, just like so, for the treat. And then fold up my flap. And I have a piece of that copper-colored metallic ribbon here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my, my acorns. These are the acorn trinkets. So I have one that I've already strung up on a piece of the linen thread. And I'm just going to tie that. I'm going to tie that onto the copper ribbon in the middle. I'm going to give that a, a double knot. So we don't want to lose our acorn. And then I can slip this through just like so, making sure that the acorn is on the front of the box. Give that a little bow. And now there's one more thing I want to do. I have my tag. So I'm going to take my little tag and slip that. near my acorn. I'll tie this in a little bow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this. 
I want to use my tails to hold some additional leaves. So I'm just going to let those stay for the moment. I'm going to go back to my little pack here and I'm going to get two of my metallic maple leaves and two of my metallic oak leaves. And I'm going to trim my linen thread so it's just about halfway down the box. And actually, I think I'll use glue dots for this. I'm just going to put a glue dot on the back of that maple leaf, and then I'm going to put one of my tails right through that glue dot. I'll add another one on top of it, hold it securely, and add my second maple leaf so that the string or the linen thread is sandwiched right in the middle of those two leaves. Now they don't, they don't meet up exactly, but it's close enough. I'm doing the same thing with the oak leaf. There we go. So there's our, our adorable little box with our little acorn trinket and our pretty copper foil and our little thank you tag. Of course, you could say hello or happy birthday or whatever the occasion may be. And then we've got these pretty little sparkly leaves. And on the inside, open it up. And there's our little squirrel friend in the woods with his shiny acorn. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this. I love these little critters. I grew up on Beatrix Potter. And, uh, and so I still love to read those little books and see all those little creatures. And this reminds me of something that um, would have, who is it? Squirrel Nutkin. If you all know the, the cautionary tale of Squirrel Nutkin, he came to a very bad end. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this project. And I will see you again on Marvelous Monday. If you'd like to get the listings of my online classes, please go to dandeliancottagedesign.com and subscribe to notes. And on the first, you will get a listing of all my watercolor and paper crafting classes that I have coming up. So have a great weekend, stay well, and stay creative.